Hey everyone, Cobra here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today, we're on the game Dungeon Born. Now this is a free new game that just came out a few days ago. Super fun and exciting. So for today, I've got a few tips and tricks to help you turn the tide and really have a good time and kick some butt in Dungeon Born. So getting right into it, uh, the first tip that I have for you guys is when you're out there and you're getting loot, Sometimes the first instinct is to break it all down or to just sell it, but what you don't think about is you can get loot on one character that transfers over to another character. So for example, here I have my level 6 rogue character. If I go to my inventory, I've got this blue apprentice robe. Now it would be really easy for me to go and sell this or break it down for the parts to get heirlooms, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to store it right here. Because now if I switch over to my level 20 Pyromancer, I can take it out. I could use it on this character if I felt like it. So you can get a gear and save it for your other characters. You don't necessarily have to keep it on that one character. It transfers over. So that is one really big tip for you. A second tip is this right here, the Mithril Dice. Uh, when I first started, I had no idea what this was. I had a few of them sitting here. If you use this, so we're going to click shift and we're going to use. So you can see it now marked this spot right here. What that means is whatever is in this spot, when I finish the next round, regardless of whether or not I survive, even if I die, I get to keep this ring now because it is in this spot. So that's what the mithril dice does. So every, it does a random one. There are ones you can buy here at the merchant where you can get uh, pants or chests specifically that you can buy, but those are a little bit more expensive. Now you can get these dice from buying them here or sometimes from doing quests. Typically you'll see them uh, in the seasonal section. You can see you can get some mithril dice here. Now that is a very nice way of... Uh, saving some of the stuff that you worked hard to get. Now another thing you see here in this page is the Ascension Potion. Now this, when you drink it, you get 1500 XP if you escape. Now that is a lot of XP. Like we're talking multiple levels if you're not almost max level. So if you're starting off as a low level character, you know you're level 6 or you're level 1, that right there could take you up a significant amount and all you have to do is escape after using that potion. So that's something you want to look out for. You can get that for quests or you can buy that as well. Now, getting into actual a little bit more uh, complex stuff. So we've got, you know, this blue apprentice robe right here. You can see I've got a purple one, so I don't need this at the moment. So we're going to go over to the heirlooms tab. Now, when you get loot, a lot of times people look at this and they're like, oh, I can sell this for a bunch of gold. Well, what's even more important than that oftentimes is coming over here to the heirloom shop and you can dismantle it. You can either click this to dismantle all by a certain rarity or individual. You can see for this one blue, I'm going to get 15 refined steel ore. It comes up here. Now, these allow you to craft heirlooms. So once you purchase them for a certain amount, you can see down here you can then craft them over and over again. So for example, right now I've got this pretty wimpy staff, just your base one right here, but for two of the blue ores, or for one mithril token, I'm gonna use blue ores because these are saved for better other things, like you can use one of those to craft things like that. So I've got this blue heirloom staff here that I can craft, and all it takes is two of those, and I just got 15 for breaking down that one. Now you can see this staff is significantly better, has a bunch of things, including 150% XP gain. So that's a big jump right there. And I can craft this as many times as I want as long as I have this. Now limitations to heirlooms are you can only have one of each type. So one, one weapon, one armor, and one accessory at a time. So I could go, I could craft the divine crown, or I could craft the mystic robe. I can't craft both. And then you can only have one of the accessories as well. However, you can keep crafting them anytime that you lose them. You can just get more, which is why it's really nice. The other thing that I think a lot of people don't realize is you can upgrade them. So you can see here, if I want to make it go to purple, I would have to get 300 of these blue. 
I only have 64, so obviously I cannot do that. But look at the difference here, 200% XP gain, more intelligence, more damage, more elemental damage, and it would give us a third upgrade slot. You can also purchase these to get specific effects added to it. So these can actually be uh, upgraded pretty strongly. They're not just wimpy little green rarity things. So that's one thing that I really recommend. Now another thing is you don't necessarily have to play on just the normal, you know, the castle or Sinner's End. You can also try Mithril Order if you don't want to lose your stuff. So you can see in Mithril Order, the difference here is you pick one of these three classes and it gives you equipment. And with your reputation, you can then get upgrades here. But all this equipment is given to you. You don't actually lose anything when you go in and do this because it's none of your actual equipment. When you end, you can then deposit stuff, sell it, you know, whatever you need to do. However, it's all free. So that's something that's pretty cool with that. And then just a couple of uh, things with the actual game I'll show you here. So we're going to go ahead and hop in the game. Uh, see if we can find some things um, to go on for you. So we're going to go actually to the castle. And so I'll go ahead and skip ahead and tell the parts where I have the tips for you. Okay, so another tip is regarding PvP. So you can see there's a guy that I'm looking at down here. So... He's got his back turned to me. That is a perfect time for me to throw a fireball at him. For me to attack him. Now, if he was looking at me, that's a different story. Now, in addition to this, one thing you really want to make sure, if you're playing with groups of people, when you engage in combat with someone, Make sure you know where their entire team is. If you don't, do not fight them. Because the amount of times that a rogue can sneak up on you, or, you know, the druid who can turn into a panther, you know, they can sneak up on you really easy. If, you know, you look away for one second, and, you know, you could be dead. So you want to make sure that when you engage in combat, you always know where your enemies are. So this guy has found me now, but I've hit him a few times. He hasn't hit me yet, so he's scared of me. But I'd like to play it safe. I'm not going to go engage with this guy unless I know I can hit him. So I'm going to go stick my head out again. If I can get up. Okay. Okay. I like to always make sure that I got my weapons charged. And in this case, I'm going to keep a fireball charged because that's my best long weapon. So there he is. He knows I'm here. He's just waiting for me at this point. But the difference is, is he hit me with his staff just barely. I hit him with a fireball and with my staff. So I have actually got him on fire at the moment. You can see. So I've hit this guy for quite a lot now. So we're going to get in close. And there we go. Killed the guy. So you want to make sure that when you're engaging with someone, you know what you're doing. Because this guy actually had, this guy had some decent stuff on him that I'm going to take right now. Now, could he have killed me? Possibly. You know, he, wow, he actually had decent stuff, surprisingly. So let's move a few things around in my inventory and see if I can keep it. Um, get rid of that one. Move this over here. We'll keep that. 
That's worth a little bit. If I drop that down, I can put that there. Keep this cool ring here. that's not worth anything, never mind. So that, guys, was a little PvP encounter. Now, I'm doing solos, so that's why I went, act went in and did that. If I had been doing a team, I would not have engaged in that because I only knew where one guy was. Because there have been many times where I engaged in a battle with um, two guys and I thought, oh, they must have lost their teammate and he was invisible and he got me from behind or different things like that. So make sure you always know where your opponent is, be patient, and be the first one to get the big hit. Because if you hit them for you know almost 300 damage with a fireball right off the bat or whatever your special attack is, that right there is going to turn the tide of the battle. You know, you saw that that guy couldn't do anything. I still had half health when I killed him because I had started off by hitting him so hard. Now, had he gotten me with the fireball, that would have turned the tide and changed everything. So just make sure to keep an eye on that when you are battling people. It really does make a big difference, especially when you're in a group. But those are just some of the tips that I have for you and then you can see looting up you know I've got all of this stuff sure I could sell some of it but you can see the sell price is pretty low unless you're actually going to put it on the market which none of these are good enough to do so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it into those pieces to go and craft more heirlooms because that's what you really should be doing early on you really want to get those heirlooms they will make a huge difference for you so hope this video is helpful to you if you have any questions please don't hesitate to let me know i'm happy to answer questions and if you have anything else you want me to make a video on let me know as well because in addition to you know answering questions i'm also happy to make videos that you guys request that'll help you out so Stay tuned, I'm going to be making more videos for this game. The more support that I get, the more I will keep making it. So please continue to check out my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.